All right, I'm poking some holes in the uh, cover here. Let me take the, so this will go over that and uh, this, where to go this? This will go on top of here and I've got some holes in the corners and I need to poke holes so these will stick through. So uh, I just uh, lay it out. I just use magic marker for the layout fluid. It comes off with alcohol. And then uh, I've got a, what are these things called? What are these punch sets called? Um, these are Roper Whitney. Punch number five. Wish I had one of those big floor mount ones. Those are cool. All right. And they come with a bunch of uh, sizes and stuff here. Let's see if this is going to work. Let's put it on from this side. Here, view it from the side. I guess that's better. Yeah, I think I think that will work. Let me make sure the holes are lined up. Nah, the holes aren't quite right. I tried to measure them, but I didn't quite get them right. Uh, they're close. I think I'll have to file them a little bit, open them up so they don't short out. But uh, anyway, that is the idea. And then this will sit like that, and this will sit like that, and uh, yeah, that'll look, that'll be looking good. All right, uh, sorry about the noise in the background. It's the 3D printer. I know it makes kind of a wild, high-pitched scream. But um, so here's the transistor. Here's my new uh, my new socket, and uh, the way these work is you just. Uh, Pop it on like that, and away you go. It makes contact to the hole here, and then uh, the TO3 goes in like a so, and the smaller holes there for TO66. So uh, they have the same mounting hole. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I do like it. So I have never seen one before. I might be the only one on the planet. I'll have one of these for a Tektronix curve tracer. So. I think it turned out pretty cool.